What's up, guys? Josh Bell back at you again. And today, uh, it's, it's been a long time since I've actually done a product review. Uh, so, is that uh, the Walmart? You know, Walmart's everybody goes to them. But I was over there, and I uh, actually over there in the sporting goods section, I found a Zippo. But right near it, I found this stuff called Instafire. Now, I've um, never actually heard of this stuff, but it was only a dollar. It's made in the USA, uh, military grade. Uh, it says it was on that sh TV show Shark Tank. I've only watched it a few times. Um, there's camping, fireplace cooking, charcoal, emergency, no harmful chemicals, eco friendly, and smokeless. Lights up to four fires, and I don't know if I said made in the USA, but on the back it says lights wet wood, burns at nearly a thousand degrees, burns in winds up to 30 miles an hour, burns in snow or even floats, and burns on water. Uh, non valuable. I don't I don't know how to say that word, but apparently it means no unexpected flare ups. Burn time, one-eighth of a cup is about five to seven minutes. Uh, Five-year shelf life, waterproof pouch, no harmful chemicals. Store to, uh, safe to store near food. My bad. Instafire's ash is a natural fertilizer. And there's some other warnings and stuff, but I'll show you that. I figured I'd try it out. I mean, it was only a dollar. Can I lose? It's a pretty decent little package in here. So it's 1.7 ounces, goes up to about there. So let's take it down here. Um, I guess I'll hit this with the ferro rod. Sounds like a good idea. But I actually have to go get that. I forgot to bring it. So I'll get it all set up and come back down and we can see how it works. So let me pause this real quick. Okay, I'm back, got my little ferro rod. I forgot that I let uh, my sister borrow my truck and my Nathan 4071 is in there. Uh, nice choice. Today is my uh, flint and steel custom knife here. Awesome little blade. Uh, that's what I've been wearing for my neck knife today. I don't know exactly what that looks like, or how to describe that. Um, pour some out right here. That's a significant amount there. And I guess let's hit it with the ferro rod. I don't think I've ever tried a ferro rod with this knife, so let's try it. Difficult. Let me try it with my open L. Took a bit of effort, but I finally got it. Good so far. As I said it took a little bit of effort to uh, get it lit. That's because I just used the ferro rod. I wanted to demonstrate whether a ferro rod would work good or not, and it does. Not sure what substance this stuff is, but. It uh, looks pretty interesting. Now the package says it's uh has no harmful chemicals or anything like that. Um, you 
Yeah. Pretty interesting stuff. Burning pretty well. I think it's starting to burn down to the uh, cardboard. That's nice. Burns pretty good. I'm impressed by this stuff. This is uh, some great stuff to. I wish you could throw a couple patches of this in a bug out bag and be pretty good. Let's see how it does against a little bit of wind here. Let me try and create some. It went out. I'm just sitting here flapping a piece of cardboard and it went out. Um, spark it back up. See if it even sparked back up. Um, the other piece of cardboard on fire. I don't want to stick my hand in all the way. Really? Forget it. What the? That's random. I'll be right back. Okay, one end out. Use a torch. Hmm. I spread this out a little bit, I guess. Back up. Try and put it a little bit back together here. Hmm. Okay. So, as you can see, with a little bit of just fanning, it uh, went out and, like, I guess it doesn't want to reignite. Disappointing. Um, thought it might burn a little better than that. Throw a little bit more in here. I mean, stuff would be good to, you know, help you light a fire, I guess. Some pretty good stuff. I guess when it comes to, you know, fire starting, you do get what you pay for, so. Insta-fire. Uh, fire starter here. Pretty good. A uh, dollar for this bag. I found it at Walmart in the sporting goods section, if you guys are interested. Move this over here. See if we can't get this log started here. interesting review of this um wait it does say to burn on water right um let's do one more quick test and uh, i'm gonna pause this and get right back okay i'm back real quick now this stuff does say on here okay now it does say on here that uh says burns on snow even floats and burns on water so we're going to put that to the test first of all does it float it does float so they weren't lying about that huh 
That's impressive. It does float and burn on water. Um, sorry for any noise you hear. Downstairs, and there's a lot of loud people up there. Uh, but wow, I'm impressed on that. It does float and burn on water. Uh, don't know how long, obviously not too long. Trying to keep the fire going here. And it's out. But it's, it's not too bad. It floats and burns on water. Hmm. Well, okay. I'm going to say Instafire. It's a definite worth picking up. I mean, for a dollar for this whole package, not too bad. Uh, it did go out and then not restart. And see, this pile did not light the log. Uh, but it's worth a dollar? Uh, yeah, I guess it's worth a dollar. But it's up to you guys. This is my opinion on this product. Uh, I'd recommend you go out and you pick it up yourself. Like I said, it's only a buck. Uh, it's worth the risk. I'm definitely going to pick up some more bags of this because it'll work great with helping to start a fire, that's for sure. Another use I could see this for is it'd be uh, throw a little bit of this onto uh, one of my fire cakes. Well, fire cakes or wax rounds or anything like that, and it should help it at night. But this is just my opinion. Go check it out yourselves. This has been Cheap Survival. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Over and out.